What's up guys, welcome back to Kit Guru. So today's video, it's just a quick one from me. I'm actually trying to reach out to the community to get your thoughts and opinions on a bit of an issue I've had with the graphics card lately. Uh, it's a bit of a weird one this, so make sure you stick around. So a friend of mine gave me a call the other day and said he'd been having some problems with his graphics card. It was getting really hot, fans were running at 100%, games were crashing, that kind of thing. Uh, this is the card in question, or at least this is the cooler off the card in question. It's an MSI RTX 2080 Ventus OC. I thought, well, he's had this card for about three years, probably just needs a bit of maintenance, cleaning up, blowing the dust out of it, uh, repasting it and then reassembling. So. That's what I did. I stripped the card down to the uh, the bare cooler, cleaned all the heatsink up, cleaned up the fans and everything like that, and then uh, reapplied some good quality thermal paste and reassembled the card. So did a bit of quick testing, some 3D Mark testing and uh, some Heaven Benchmark and things like that, and we were still getting the same problem. The temperature of the uh, GPU core would very quickly ramp up to around 85 degrees, fans would run at 100% and the hotspot temperature was like touching 100 degrees, games were crashing and the system was just generally running really badly. When I first disassembled the card, I did notice on this cold plate, there's a little bit of, it looks like corrosion on the heat pipes. At first, you know, I noted it, but didn't pay too much attention to it. So when we realized that the repaste and the cleanup hadn't solved the problem. I then disassembled the card again, uh, just in case I'd got a bad mount or the thermal paste had not spread or not tightened the screws up enough or something like that. Disassembled it again to have a look. And the second time round when I disassembled it, you could see that from this little bit of corrosion on this heat pipe, there was actually a little droplet of water actually coming out and you could see it rested on top of the heat pipe and there was a little droplet of water on the GPU die. I suppose that kind of takes, you know, water cooling to a new level, I suppose, but it's not really what you want. You don't want any fluid or liquid or water or whatever it is that's inside the heat pipes. You don't want that resting on top of your graphics card. You know, it's gonna eventually, if there's enough, could spill over the sides or whatever and cause a short. So luckily that didn't happen. We uh, managed to remove this again safely and he's, the person who owns the card is a real hardcore gamer, so he didn't want to be without his card. So I managed to you know, like, like build just a small custom loop and temporarily fixed it for him. So we've been in touch with MSI and asked them about this problem, whether they've seen it in their RMAs of this card or of any other cards with a similar kind of heatsink design. They've told us that it's not something that they've seen before. So they're saying it's an isolated problem. But what we want to know really is, have any of you guys come across this problem with this uh, RTX 2080 Ventus OC? Or if you come across this problem with another MSI graphics card or any other graphics card really, um, it's a real odd one. It's something I've never seen before. Generally speaking, after a few years, you usually need to have a good cleanup of the card, reapply the thermal paste. I know some cards, you have to do it even sooner than that. But this is a real odd one and it's not something I've seen before. So we just wanna know if any of you guys have seen it. So quickly, I'm just gonna try and see if I can replicate the problem because I have been able to a few times using the heat gun, just warming up the this cold plate and then the, uh, the little droplet of water comes out again. So I'm not sure whether it's gonna work this time because I have done it a few times and I know for a fact there's not a lot of liquid inside these heat pipes. And you can see this one here is the main one with the problem as it actually must got, have got a pinhole, some kind of hole in the uh, the actual copper of the heat pipe, which makes it leak when it gets up to a certain temperature as the, the copper expands or contracts. But you can also see, it looks like there's some similar corrosion as well on the heat pipe at this side and then this one as well. So it looks like maybe at least three of the heat pipes on this card could be affected. So let's see if we can get it to do this again. So 
So I'll just flip it over and you can see, look, the water actually coming out of that little pinhole in the card. So that is a worry for us and we'd just like to see if any of you guys have experienced this problem or if you've experienced any overheating problems with this card and you've not been able to solve the issue yourself, please let us know because we'd like to see if it is a widespread issue or if it is just isolated to this one card that we've got. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, if you wanna help support Kit Guru, if you like what we do, head over to our store and pick up some of our merch. You can always subscribe to our Patreon as well. And as always, if you wanna catch up on all the in-depth technical reviews, head over to the website.